Welcome to the another part of CKA 70 question series. The next question is from the troubleshooting part. You can find a pod in dev namespace as in pending status due to scheduling issues, you have to find that issue and fix. Okay, multiple types of scheduling questions we will cover in this series, this is one of them. Without delay let's go to the cluster. Let's check the pods in the dev name space first. We can see a pod is in pending status. Let's check the logs first. We can see there is no logs because container is not started yet, so let's describe the pod next. Yes, we can see an issue here. Pod did not get any nodes for scheduling. Okay, let's check the node status next. Here we can see worker node status as scheduling disabled, which means nodes is cordon for maintenance, while cordon status scheduler will not schedules any pods to these nodes. We can see the pods are not scheduled to any node so far, so let's uncordon the node. Yes, let's check the status of pod now. Yes it is running, now our pod is scheduled to worker node. Okay, let's go to the next question. Next question has no changes, with previous but the answers is different, the question is, you can find a pod in dev namespace as in pending status due to scheduling issues, you have to find that issue and fix. Okay let's see the difference. We can see the pod is in pending status, let's check whether it is scheduled or not to any nodes. We can see the pod is not scheduled, let's describe the pods. We can see the pod is not scheduled due to unavailability of nodes, so let's check the node status now. Here we can see the worker node is in the not ready status, in the previous question our worker node status was unschedulable due to cordon, but this time the nodes is unhealthy. Due to so many reasons a node can be in unhealthy, so let's describe the nodes next. We can see some warning related with kiblet service on the nodes. Okay. Let's get into the node. We can use SSH command. Either we can use the node IP address or node name for SSH. Okay, 
Now we are in the worker node. Let's check the status of kubelet service. Yes, kubelet service is not active. Let's try to start. Now it is running, let's check the status of the node now. Oh, sorry we are in the node machine, we have to exit from the node first. Let's check now. Congratulations our node become healthy. Now our pod should be scheduled. Yes it is scheduled. Okay, let's go to the next question. Next question is quite interesting one, this type question seems in the recent CKA exams. The question is, you can find a SQL pod is running in cube db namespace. Find the issues and fix it. You can recreate the pod it if needed, the name of the pod is SQL, and the image is MySQL. Ok, let's go to the cluster. Let's check the pod first. Yes we can see a pod in error status, and the container is continuously restarting, so far it is restarted two times. Ok, let's check the logs first. We can see the pod is expecting any one of these three values as environment variable while starting up, if we provide any one of these values as environment variable, then it will work. So we have to recreate the pod. Let's create the pod YAML file from this pod first. Oh, I made a mistake. Let's remove the file. It should work. Nothing special in this file, we can recreate the pod with environment variable either using this YAML file or using imperative commands. This time I will show you how to pass environment variable through imperative commands. Let's copy the environment key from the log first. Ok, let's delete the pod now. Pod is deleted. Now we have to recreate it.
Here we can pass any password because, in the question they are not mentioned anything. Yes our pod is running. Oh, we made a mistake again, instead of namespace cube db we ran the pod on default namespace, in the exam you may encounter these type of mistakes, so you have to verify the pods after creating. Ok, let's delete the pod, and recreate on the cube db namespace. Yes, that's it. Let's go to the next. The next question is simple one and straightforward. Find the util cube pod on the util namespace, delete the pod without any delay using force delete, and copy the command to util command.txt file under root directory. OK, let's go to the cluster. Let's check the pod first. Yes, util pod is running, let's delete it forcefully. Yes pod is deleted, next we need to copy this command to the util command.txt file, so let's copy it. Please note. If we save this then there is chance to lose your marks, because we have to add the exact command here instead of alias commands. Ok, now seems perfect. Let's save and exit. Ok, we have successfully completed this question, let's go to the next. The next question is, get the all pods with labels, and we have to change the label of the pod which have label infra equals dev to infra equals prod. Ok, this is also a simple question. Without any delay let's go to the cluster. Let's list the pod with the labels. Yes we can see some pods in the default namespace, and only one pod has a different label. We need to change the label of pod production pod 5 to infra equals prod. Ok, let's list again. Yes we are changed the label of prod pod 5. Ok, 
We are successfully completed this task, let's go to the next question. This is also a simple question with low weightage, the question is, check the image version of pod cube 001 pod using JSON path, and save the command to JSON path.txt file under root directory. Okay, let's go to the cluster. Okay, we can see the cube 001 pod is running under default namespace. Let's use JSON path for extracting the image name. Yes, the image is Nginx, let's describe it for confirming. Yes, image is Nginx. Let's copy the command and paste it to jsonpath.txt file. OK, save and exit. OK. We have successfully completed this task. So far we completed 39 questions out of 70. And we will cover few more latest questions in the upcoming parts. Thank you.